Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my spoiler-free review for The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 7. And as I always say, ladies and gentlemen, if you're finding the channel for the first time, do not worry. There will be no spoilers for the episode. There will be potentially mild spoilers for episodes 1 to 6, but for 7, you are good to go. Now, story-wise for the episode, it did feel like the older episodes where it's like a kind of segregated little story quest thing and that's what it pretty much felt like for me anyway we know the overall story we've got moff gideon he's got grogu aboard his ship and mando and the crew need to go and save him however in the episode it definitely felt like set up because this was like a little mini quest thing they need to do in order to find moff gideon's ship and i'm just gonna say it now like compared to the other episodes i'm going like four back it felt like every episode since we got bo katan to be fair it just felt like every episode outdone itself and it went higher and higher and higher and last week's episode it was like at this incredible peak this episode definitely came down a few levels it wasn't bad by any means like it's still the mandalorian it's still written directed action all that stuff and visuals it is top notch just story wise it definitely was not on the level of like the last four episodes and the standard mando episode we get a new character or a side character from an old episode back in this episode that's what we get in this one the character i'm not gonna like spoil anything just in case you don't know i was on the fence with it but by the end of the episode i was kind of loving it i'm not gonna lie i gotta be fair though this episode was definitely a step down from the last slot like if you like saw bo katan and you got excited, then Ahsoka, and you started to peak, yo. And then we got that Boba Fett episode last week. You, you must be on the same level as me. I, I was like, surely they can't keep at least staying at this level. It definitely didn't feel like it in this one. It felt very... It wasn't segregated because it's still integral to the main story. They're doing it for a genuine reason. It just felt like... It wasn't filler. It just felt like another little side quest. Like I, I didn't hate it. I wasn't bored. None of that stuff. It just wasn't on the same level as those last episodes man however there were two things right and they're pretty much at the end i can't spoil any of it so i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna hint at what they are but there's two moments one of them i was like please do this i want to see it and hear it and yeah it happened and i was like a little kid again ladies and gentlemen i loved that little scene and right at the end we got a nice little like badass moment it was really appreciated overall this episode was definitely a step back from the other banging 10 out of 10 episodes this for me if i had to grade it i'd probably give it a 7 maybe a 7.5 if i watched it again but yeah that is my initial review and feelings towards the episode now ladies and gentlemen have you seen the episode what did you think about it please let us all know down below as always just in case for spoilers tread carefully in fact though i feel like i shouldn't have to say that anymore because you guys watching these videos you're amazing man like the amount of times I've seen like people write, spoiler warning, bunch of spaces so no one can read it, man. Big love to you guys and looking out for your fellow Star Wars nerd. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and continuing to show big love and support. And I will see you all next week. Yeah.